Esportes. So now we have finished trading the floors. We'll now move on to vertical surfaces. So we will change sprayers. We will now use the spray gun, which allows us to avoid diluting the blood, as I have just said. We can begin with this surface here. We'll get into the dark and I will spray. As you can see, the spray gun not only reveals the trace, there are no runs, so we can do blood stain pattern analysis afterwards. We can spray several times without the product running. We've just seen a reaction on a vertical surface. As you can see, the spray gun not only reveals the trace, there are no runs, so we can do blood stain pattern analysis afterwards. Using the spray gun with Blue Star Magnum is recommended because it is more concentrated and will therefore react better with this type of aerosol, whose particles are extremely fine. We can now treat the windows. We should not forget to set up the camera correctly. We are on a vertical surface, so the camera must be positioned to face the zone that we are going to spray. Yes, it must be perpendicular. Every precaution should be taken to avoid deforming the images, either through the photograph itself or by deforming the shapes by spraying too much of the product. And you should avoid all distortions of pictures as well as taking photographs that recede too much. Even on a window, the spray gun used with Blue Star not only allows us to see the reaction, but it also prevents runs.